Don DeMills is a guy who really gets into his work. Oh, that makes a world of difference when you cool off. Don is contracted by the Corporation of Delta to build dams in Burns Bog. It's his work site, but its waters also provide respite from this brutally physical work on a scorching hot day. I actually started building dams in the bog um, while it was still privately owned. In 1996, there was a, a massive rectangular canal dug in the very center of the very heart of the bog, and it was really, really damaging it. So we built some quite big dams in there that you know, really held back the water a lot. Let's use this monster here. We're really lucky to have Don DeMille in our community. He's very, very passionate and, and dedicated to trying to preserve the bog. Decades later, large pieces of industrial equipment sit rusting in the bog. From the air, you can clearly see where large ditches have been dug to facilitate the harvesting of peat, an industry that started here in the 1930s and continued till 1984. This is unusual for snow in the bog. Today, the water in Burns Bog is key to its restoration. So the first one we're going to do is measure down to the water table. So we've got this on. The water is basically the lifeblood of a bog. Uh, a raised bog like this has actually managed to bring itself up above the groundwater table, and so it's only fed by precipitation. Rain, fog, snow, things like that. There are now 225 dams in the bog, all aimed at retaining rainwater. Beaver dams play a role too. They are dotted all over the wetter areas of the bog. Sarah, I'm going to take you down to where um, I did a dam three or four years ago. Yeah. But human intervention here, closely supervised by the Corporation of Delta, is absolutely crucial to the restoration of the bog. It was a place more of mystery and wonder, and now I've tramped the whole thing and I haul equipment in, so it's, it's lost some of its mystique, but it's still wonderful. There's always something neat. I got about 25 or 30 feet from a pair of cranes last week, and uh, always something cool, something different. Eagles um, flying over most of the time, hawks, even just in here, uh, a fly lands on your shoulder or your wrist and you have a look at it and it's usually something really weird that you've never seen before because there's such diversity. There are something like three to five hundred kilometers of ditches that need to be dammed. I'll have to live to be about 500 years old to get it done myself, so it's just so gigantic. <laughs> 